fighting any doctrine or any narrative that doesn't have Holy Jesus Ghost going away will hinder the Holy Ghost from being profitable unto you. The Holy Ghost Holy is God Ghost in the earth God today. Earth you walk with him by saying words. My name is the Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this Jesus is your first time here, right. make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. The blessing of the Lord, it makes rich. And he adds no sorrow with it. Well, you first have to come to know who the Lord is if you're going to have his blessing a lot of people don't know this who the Lord God is in the earth his name is the Holy Ghost he's in the earth he's the one with us he's the one sent from the Father and Jesus to be with us in the earth today well I know who he is I know the Lord my God the Holy Ghost and the blessing of the Lord it makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it say the blessing of the Lord God Holy Ghost makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it knowing who the source of your prosperity is and that will be the Holy Ghost is no small thing and it makes no small difference well, I know who the Lord God is I know who the source of my prosperity is I will not deny him the Holy Ghost the Living God God in the earth today the one Jesus sent many do many don't know the things I'm saying tonight and many just simply want it some other way some other religious way some other way that they've been taught too bad they would prefer that Jesus never left them you see because Jesus left and sent another they sent another the another is not Jesus he sent someone else and many would prefer that Jesus didn't go away and that Jesus didn't send someone else to be with us but he did and the Holy Ghost is here in the earth and he is the one that we walk with he is the one that we get to know and it's his blessing say his blessing that makes you rich and adds no sorrow with it Luke chapter 4 verse 8 says this is the words of Jesus thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve well if you've come like me to know that the Lord my God in the earth is the Holy Ghost and this verse of Scripture says thou shalt worship the Lord thy God the same one that's blessing you making you rich the Lord my God Holy Ghost thou shalt worship the Lord my God Holy Ghost and him only serve is this right well if someone were to actually do that what would happen I guess we'll see I'm doing it say I'm doing it I'm doing this verse of Scripture like James chapter 122 says be a doer of the word what would happen to someone who does that verse of Scripture worships the Lord thy God and him only serves I'm worshiping the Lord my God Holy Ghost and him only serving him only serving him only serving in the earth he's the only God in the earth today <laughs> well uh, no no he's the only God in the earth today Jesus left and sent him to be with us he is God he's in the earth thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve are you getting this 
what would happen to somebody if they do that we will see one problem with confessing scripture and by confessing the scripture I don't mean just saying it once I mean taking a verse of scripture and putting it in your mouth and saying it and saying it and saying it and saying it for a period of time every day a period of time saying that verse of scripture the problem with that is that you end up believing something new it changes the way you think it changes the way you believe it changes you predominantly into the thing you were saying but the problem with confessing it is that you end up believing something new something different if I'm confessing this thou shalt worship the Lord my God and him only shalt thou serve so I confess that I worship the Lord my God and him only do I serve are you here I say I worship the Lord my God and him only do I serve I worship the Lord my God and him only do I serve you end up believing something different than what you believed before I worship the Lord my God Holy Ghost and him only Holy Ghost do I serve that's different and your new belief say my new belief one that I got from confessing God's scriptures out my mouth a new belief that new belief destroys the old belief well I am set for the destruction of false doctrine false doctrines false narratives that limit the people of God and limit them from walking with the most high God in the earth who's the most high God in the earth the Holy Ghost the one you should be worshiping the one you should be only serving I know that's different how do we get to this different belief from the word I want the Holy Ghost to be profitable unto you say I want the Holy Ghost to be profitable unto me well there's something you're gonna have to do to have the Holy Ghost be profitable unto you why do you have to be so matter-of-fact I'm trying to be nice well, sometimes you need things shaken up and, and 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 straightened out and destroyed and honestly when you're destroying something I don't know if that ever seems very nice does it well I'm trying to be nice John chapter 16 and verse 7 well these are in red letters that means Jesus said it nevertheless I tell you the truth is he lying no he said the truth nevertheless I tell you the truth it is expedient for you the word expedient means profitable other translations translated profitable it is profitable for you profitable for you that I Jesus go away is that in your Bible it's profitable for you for Jesus to go away say Jesus go away if I go not away the comforter will not come unto you now it's profitable that the comforter come to you right I want you to know the Holy Ghost in a way that's profitable unto you right and any doctrine or any uh, narrative that doesn't have Jesus going away say going away will hinder the Holy Ghost from being profitable unto you specifically as God the Most High in the earth today and you walking with him I want the Holy Ghost to be profitable unto you well Jesus according to this verse of Scripture had to leave for this to be profitable unto you can you see that Jesus had to leave for this verse of Scripture to be profitable unto you do you want this to be profitable unto you or not then Jesus has to leave if not 
if jesus doesn't leave he even said this if jesus doesn't leave then this is no profit unto you it's not profitable to you if jesus doesn't leave well the fact is and it's good news jesus left jesus left you say jesus left me mourn if you must get over it he left you and then he sent another this is the good news jesus left you and sent another he sent another to be with you and the another that comes to be with you is another it's not jesus so jesus is not with you say that jesus is not with me who is with you the holy ghost the another that jesus the real jesus sent to be with me if i'm scriptural and i am if i'm scriptural then i be in the earth and the holy ghost be with me in this day in the earth it's the holy ghost dispensation and jesus be not with me jesus be at the right hand of the father and shall return but where does that leave me solely by myself with the holy ghost as god in the earth today are you here this is good news this is what's profitable unto you all that other gobbledygook is not profitable unto you and most people listen most people spend all of their christian life in some other gobbledygook because that's what they live in they're not living in this pure place of walking and worshiping and serving the lord god him only are you here well this is where you are at whether you like it or not you and the holy ghost in the earth walking together and profiting say me and the holy ghost in the earth together profiting this will be profitable unto you well, i'm not preaching something that's not profitable all right so it's you in the earth with the holy ghost prospering and then jesus returns i got news for you it's you and the holy ghost in the earth prospering and then when we're done prospering jesus returns get it straight because you understand this right you and me with the holy ghost in the earth prospering that's pretty good stuff right he's a prosperous god i'll share about that in a minute but we're in the earth with him and jesus said it would prosper us it would be profitable there is a new listen ha there is a new complete perfect worldwide global super manifestation of the spirit lord that the whole earth shall know about that's prosperity are you here who are they going to know what are they going to know about they're going to know about the holy ghost being god in the earth habakkuk chapter 2 14 for the earth shall be filled with what the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the lord the word glory literally means wealth is translated wealth in many places the glory of the lord shall fill the earth like the waters cover the sea so it's like a cover and it's filling the earth the knowledge of the glory of the spirit lord he's the one in the earth it's the knowledge of him that's going to cover this earth and he's going to do it through you and prospering you haha -ha. 
you are God's plan your little thinking has kept you in the shallow waters when the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Spirit Lord most of the church doesn't know who the Spirit Lord is the knowledge of the glory of the Spirit Lord the Holy Ghost the one who is in the earth with you are you on board thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve is this starting to sound good there's a new sound to it if you can hear it then the new sound will take you to a new place and a new manifestation of the Spirit Lord in your life and in the earth this is where we're going thou shalt worship the Lord thy God the Holy Ghost and him only shalt thou serve and his glory shall cover the earth the knowledge of his glory listen thou shalt worship the new manifestation of the spirit into the earth thou shalt worship the new super manifestation of the spirit lord into the earth and no one's been worshiping the spirit lord a few have been serving him they serve him a little bit here and there but really they're just serving the anointing and they don't know it because if you don't worship the lord your god you can't fulfill the second half of that verse of scripture which and him only shalt thou serve you don't even know that he's the only god in the earth today you're still playing around in all the gobbledygook him only him only him only holy ghost i worship you and i serve you only in the earth thou shalt worship the new manifestation of the spirit into the earth the new super listen the new super manifestation of the spirit lord into the earth and then Jesus shall return are you here seems pretty simple to me you may think a message like the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words you might think that a message like that is limiting but you'd be wrong everything is in here I'm preaching it to you everything is in here including everything you've ever wanted or dreamed of it's in here and then some you don't think he has things for you that you haven't even dreamed of yet you know he's a lot bigger than you are you don't know this but the Holy Ghost is a God of pure perfect wealth with no sorrow added it's who he is and if you worship him and serve him it's what he does for you and through you his super manifestation is like a blanket of no sorrow and he puts it on all the sorrow is just gone poof and this is his intent for the entire earth the knowledge of the glory that super manifestation that blanket of his prosperity and no sorrow shall cover the earth are you here and don't you suppose you're gonna have something to do with it you are God's plan and Jesus shall return the blessing of the Spirit Lord makes you rich adds no sorrow with it he is a god of pure perfect wealth and, and complete absence of sorrow and his blessing on you makes ah, makes you rich and adds no sorrow with it comes on you like a blanket yeah you have to walk in it first 
you are God's plan say it complete wealth is on me say complete absence of sorrow is on me I wear it first well that's not normal it's beyond normal Holy Ghost is beyond normal now all of his things are are above everything else he's super Christianity as you know it and it's as it's been preached to you can't go here it won't and it can't Holy Ghost worship can and will it not only can take you here it will take you here it is why Jesus sent him into the earth to be with you he could do it and then Jesus knowing he could do it then Jesus will return the glory of the Spirit Lord the God you worship and serve shall cover the earth and you will be a part of it let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that every person that heard these words has been changed things have been rearranged in their thinking and what they think about you and this time and what our job is and your glory is beginning to rest on them and rise up in them they shall never be the same your wealth will begin to manifest your healing and health and youth renewal will begin to manifest in them on them and around them and it's a great day says the Spirit of the Lord to be alive for I am here helping you into this place if you worship me all shall be thine thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are God in the earth today you are the Spirit Lord and your glory shall cover the earth and I shall be a part of this glory and my glory in you including all of my finances shall increase exponentially until I have way more than I ever thought or ever dreamed could be possible it's happening now and I give you the glory Holy Ghost in Jesus name Amen